Basically our job um, entails dealing with patients um, to do x-rays and also fluoro exams. I chose my profession because I wanted to help patients and help people along in the healing process. There's a lot of things that I like about my profession. When you're working in a hospital, you are all over the place. You could be up on the floor doing portables, you could be in the radiology department doing a fluoroscopy exam. You can interact with many different kinds of patients on a daily basis. You can go into management down the line or you can even go into teaching if you enjoy and have the patients to teach students about medical radiography. There are so many different aspects of radiology in a hospital that it's hard to get bored. You are moving around a lot, you're going up and down the floors, you're moving large machinery, and so it does require some amount of strength and endurance. I would say that the most important skill set of a radiologic technologist is having people skills. You have to be able to interact with multitudes of patients in the day. You know, I see 10, 20, 30 patients every day, and not only am I interacting with just the patient, but I'm interacting with their family, with their doctor and everybody else in their care team. You have to have great interpersonal skills. You have to know how to communicate um, with people, your coworkers, um, also the patients. The advice I'd give that would probably be the most important is if you know someone who you can get in contact with who's an x-ray tech, at least talk to them and maybe get their point of view. And also take advantage of any sort of shadow program where you can spend at least a little bit of time, even if it's eight hours, at least viewing a part of radiography. My advice that I would give to students is just to keep an open mind. With x-ray, there's a lot of different modalities you can go into. You can do CT, you can do MRI, you can do ultrasound, nuclear medicine. There's just so many different aspects of x-ray, so it's important to keep an open mind about all the different areas. An example of what makes this whole program and this profession worth it is knowing that at the end of the day, when you've had patients who are happy, even if you just had one patient, in the entire day who was happy and thankful for the work that you did and you know you did a good exam on them and the doctor's going to get the right results and the patient's going to get what they need in the end, then you know it's all worth it because you've taken care of that patient as best as you can.